up, guys? Here is Corny from Scrubs for Hire. I'm here with King Scrub himself, Charles Eugene Newton. And what deck are we going to be seeing today? Galaxy Magnets. Ooh, a little spicy. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're working with here. Go ahead. Okay, first up, staple three god stands, futon dragon. We can those rares. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. Always gets rare. Uh, two galaxy knight. It's either three two or um, two of this three of this or three or two. So why do you play two knights? Um, two makes it where you want brick, and three gets bricky, but you suddenly wish you had the third one. But in the next set, we get a card that lets you get basically get him again. Okay. But it's just for consistency. All right. Um, next up, we also play three Galaxy Soldier, staple. It's good at two, but you want three of it. Consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We play three Galaxy Wizard. You can run them at two because you search them as much. Three is okay. It's three or two is the perfect number, but consistency is well, four cons consistency, and also because of the air engine. Okay. Next up, I play two Galaxy Ice Cloud Dragon. It works with one, but I prefer two. And it's really good, and also if Galaxy has Proton Dragon's a brick in your hand, you can summon it with him. Okay. And next up, well, that's it for the Galaxy engine. So we'll move on to the next engine. We have three Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. Three purples. I don't care about a name. <laughs> um, this is the reason why I run three Mech Knight um, Galaxy Wizard. It's really good. You always run three if you run Mech Knight engine, as well as you also do three blue. And the last but not least, you do two Indigo Eclipse. I test them at one, you need two sadly because these guys just, the mech knights just turbo out way too fast. Yeah. And then also they can sometimes take over so you don't have to use any galaxy cards. You can just put pressure upon with get um, mech knight. And if you really do it right, right, you can use your galaxy cards to turn it around and just go for bigger damage. And they're also level eights, and, or some of them are, right? Yep, level eights and level fives. Okay. It's actually why I um, took out Cyber Dragon and Vanity, but you'll see later. Okay. Next up we have one Foolish Burial. One Monster Born. Monster Born's bone was always live. Foolish Burial is only good for two plays. And that's here to send Galaxy's Cloud Dragon to call Galaxy Card the Brave if you need it for Galaxy Hero. And that's about it. Okay. Next up we have for consistency, three trade ins. Of course. Yeah, really good. You usually only use two. So if they ash one, it doesn't always hurt, but it can hurt. We have also two XL Light. And you only run it at two because with the Galaxy Mech Knights because. It, it's really good, but that new normal summon or set monsters is very painful. Yeah. We run three Galaxy Expedition. I only run three for consistency. Other than that, you really only use two of it. Really good card, though. It is. It's like really good. You summon Soldier to get a free search for later, or you can just summon Galaxy Photon Dragon. But those are only main two targets. Okay. Next up, you do Double Galaxy Zero. Um, I, but I kept it. You can't do three because three is a little bricky. You can do things to a new card. Um, number 90 that came out, but two is just better in my opinion. Okay. And the card I play for my Mech Knight, you'll see based on my air lineup, is Double World Legacy's Memory, which my, actually my friend talked me into playing it, and I've not regretted playing it ever since. Okay. It's just really good searching. And it summons a uh, Mech Knight from the deck, right? Yep. The only restriction, you can't summon mech, uh, any monster but Mech Knight for the rest of the turn. So you're only doing your opponent's turn. So if they're about to um, try to game you, you summon blue. And defense, and it's 2500, so, or you can summon in purple, if they try to attack it, you bash it, so they already wasted one attack, and also you get free search. Bad thing is that the end phase, if it's on the field, it goes back to your hand, but that's not really a neg, especially if you have a card like trade and your soldier in your hand. Right. Um, that's it for the spells. And for the lot trap lineup, I'm gonna get roasted for this, but I don't care. Triple Torrential Tribute. <laughs> Now, why Torrential? Um, Torrential Tribute is really good for my extra deck. And also, if you open up these two, if you have a break hand, just set two pass. And what you're going to do in the main phase, you're going to activate World Legacy's Memory, and it's to bait a ghost app. If they just bait Ash, if they don't Ash you, it resolves, you get the level 8, and you put them in defense. And so when they summon you Torrential, Shane has the fact to target himself to banish, to search. Oh, okay. And then you, and you basically get... A free board clear, basically. Yeah, just a, it's a perfectly free board clear, and if you have number 90, it stays on the field, so you don't even, use, you don't even waste it in the game. Okay. And the last two traps are attacking on transmigration. I apologize for, apologize for the one proxy that's on the way. It's a very annoying card to find, but best counter trap for the deck, I don't... 
Soul Strike's good. If you don't want to play this, you can play it instead, but there's not many other character you can play for this deck. But that one can be activated from the hand. Uh, if, you, if you control a Galaxy Eyes, what, XE monster? Or? Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. So oh, okay. Or Tachyon Dragon monster. Yep. Oh, okay. It's really good. Um, some games you'll be forced to make Tachyon first off, like against if you go second against like Elemental Lords, if they have something to dark against you. Mm -hmm. So if you activate the effect, they're going to chain something, you chain the trap. And because you use Tachyon's the effect already resolves, they can't do anything, so you just swing over their monsters. And it negates like the whole chain, pretty much. Yep, it negates um, all monster effects and spell and trap cards. It can't negate pen um, spell and trap effects, which bites, but if it did, it'd be pretty, it'd be a three of it in that case. And then it shovels them back into the deck, so it doesn't destroy, pretty much. Yep, only if they're on field, though. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's best, best counter trap in the game. Um, but to me, best counter trap for this deck overall. Yeah. Um, that concludes the main deck. Okay. For the extra deck, a uh, friend helped me out with this because I actually lost to Goki. Um, I mean, that's, yeah, it happens. <laughs> yeah, I went to game three, but that's it. Um, one Nightmare Mermaid and one Underclock Taker. Um, this is just to get out of Ibli, which you can just tribute summon out of it, but it's, if you want a link out of it, Underclock Taker is also to get out of Ibli, but also Underclock Taker can ex um, extend your board and extend damage. Yeah. And it's, it's only only good with no, um, Cypher, Blade, or Full Armor, but that's it. You know, unless you link with a Mech Knight to make it, you don't link into him. Not very often, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I also do one Pleiades. I cut Cyber Dragon Infinity out altogether because in this format currently, Infinity is good, but Pleiades is better because if they assault you and you make him first, you can chain and put the assault back so they have to remake a different link monster. Okay. Um, main reason also he's more live than Infinity, and he has a bigger attack, and he's. There's more you can do with him compared to a fanny. Um, yeah, especially when, especially when you have the Mech Knights that are level 5, and so you can make him a lot easier. Yep. Yeah. And, um, until we get the new Galaxy um, Link Monster, he stays, but yeah. Yeah. We also have this card, finally, I have two, double number 90. Best exceed in this X, well, no, second best exceed in the, oh, no. Yeah, best exceed in this extra deck overall. Um, negation, protection, and searching. So it's amazing. It's 3,000 defense. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's generic. Um, next up is Double Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. I might cut him to one because he's only good in these situations. Like yeah. if you play against Mech Knight Invokes, he'd be good then. Um, Goki late game, if you get to late game, if you can get the game three. That's it. You can steal your game, but that's all he can do. But he's only in here at two. I might come down to one for a Dark Matter. Okay. Um, next we have number 38, Hope Harbinger Dragon. Staple. Of course. Really good, but you don't hardly summon them. Um, other staples, one, um, 107. He's, he is staple because some matchups you need him. Yeah. Like to get the whole board. Yeah, just, much. he's amazing. Um, number 61, you rarely summon him, but he's only good for late game to swing for um, 3k plus damage. Yeah. Unless you're playing someone that exceeds, then um, rip. Yep, suck. <laughs> we do double Galaxy Eyes full armor. You can do three of them and cut Cypher down to one, but I prefer two because. I mean, most of them you can summon back with Galaxy Zero, so. Yeah, Galaxy yeah. Zero, Cloud Dragon, that's all they do, bring out your Xyz. Yeah. The last card in the extra deck is Triple Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade Dragon. And he's the second best card in the extra deck because he can destroy any card in the field. He, if you see something you have Cyber Dragon in the grave, he brings it back if he's destroyed by Valor Card Effect. And he's just really good. He's 32 also. Cool. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for the deck profile, man. If y'all have any questions, please uh, leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, this is the king of scrubs right here. Charles Eugene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna fucking screw it. Alright, y'all. Leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll catch y'all in the next video. Deuces. Mm -hmm.